All right, welcome to Regeneration Class. I'm your coach, Clint Carlson, uh, with the Intel Vitality Program. We're gonna go ahead and get into it. So we are gonna start, while we wait for others to jump on, with our tip of the day and dad joke, which I like to do to just give you guys some stuff to work on. So what we've been uh, working on so far, and excuse my getting it centered in the camera, I'm looking at another screen trying to do this. Tip of the day. Accomplish your 2021 goals and not give up. So how do we do that? You can write yourself affirmations. So take your goal and write it as an affirmation. So writing it in a way that makes it positive in your mind. It helps you keep yourself motivated. It's also a good way to help track yourself. So as you finish things, you can write that into your affirmations. Man, this is hard to do when you're looking at two different things. Okay. and then. Uh, meditate and visualize. We've gone over this quite a few times in this class. Meditation is huge and visualization is huge. Pro athletes use it all the time. It's a good way for them to achieve their goals because they visualize an attack. Well, you guys can do the exact same thing with work goals, with this fitness goal, whatever it might be. If you meditate on it, visualize it. So right before you're doing stuff, just kind of think your way through it. It's amazing how much better it goes. And then limit time with negative thoughts or influence. So social media is an amazing way to communicate with other people, but it is also a very bad thing if negative stuff's coming in at you all the time. So even joking negative things, so uh, negative talk through friends, just being fun, like, oh, you look fat, that can be very detrimental to your overall well-being with fitness and health goals as that is. So just limit that. And if you don't like it, say something. Make it so that they don't do it anymore. Okay, and then also the last one, be patient. That's the biggest thing with these goals. Don't get down on yourself if it's not happening right away. Most goals don't happen overnight, uh, even though we all wish we could just buy that mega millions and be done, right? But unfortunately, that doesn't happen all the time. So focus on it, put it in your mind's eye, visualize an attack and make it happen and be patient. Okay. That's my uh, tip for you guys today. And then our joke, our joke, uh, and Lucas, my son did the drawing again. What is the best way? I don't know why it says build burn, which way, which is the best way to burn a thousand calories. Apparently I can't type burn a thousand calories. What's the best way? Hmm. Think about it. We'll get back to it at the end. Uh, before we start, really quick, a quick little thing. As we move into March, not February, but into March, we're going to be using some mini bands in this class to just help with some more resistance as we get stronger. So you can go on Amazon, find resistance bands. They do not have to be skills bands. Any kind of resistance band you might be able to find. Uh, go to Dick Sporting Goods, Amazon, anywhere you can find them. Just a small mini band. Okay, so most times they'll be called small resistance bands. We'll be adding those in March. All right, let's get rolling into these movements. We're gonna start down on the ground. We're gonna go glute bridge march with a knee hug. So glute bridge position, dig those heels in. We're gonna drive our hips up nice and high. We're gonna stay in this position. So find yourself a nice comfortable spot. Squeeze those glutes, squeeze those hamstrings. Nice tight core. You can have your hands at your side for right now to stay balanced. We're gonna take our right knee, we're gonna bring it to our chest, get a good knee hug. My hip should not move as I alternate side to side. I'm not pulling super hard on my knee, just clearing a little extra space through my hips. Okay, but I'm keeping my hips nice and high, keeping my glute nice and strong, not allowing my hips to change elevations as I'm doing this. So I want those hips to stay parallel to the floor. We're gonna do eight of these. We got three more on each side. Now remember, warm up is all about doing these movements with quality, even more so than the actual workout, because this is what's getting us ready for this workout, our flow day. Might be 28 degrees in winter outside, but it's going to get hot up in here doing this workout. All right, we're going to go ahead and tip to our side. Does not matter which side you're on to start. 
we're going to get into a 90 90 position okay 90 at the hip 90 at the knee make sure those knees are stacked from here left hand or my left hand your down hand is going to go back of your hand to the mat i'm going to reach touch my palms together and then i'm going to draw a bowstring back pulling my arm all the way back when i get to my chest I'm gonna help myself rotate my shoulder back as far as I can. Open up with breath. And then I'm gonna fold back. We're just gonna do three of these on each side. Open up. It's a good chest opener. Opening up our spine. Breathing, practice that breathing. Let that breath out as we release into the stretch. Try to get back as far as you can. And back forward. All right, switching sides. Here we go. Lock in. Make sure you're in good 90-90 position. Get that arm out in front. Open up. One side is going to feel tighter. This is my tight side. So I don't know if you can see it, but my left shoulder is way higher than my right when I pulled back and into the, this stretch. Okay. I can pull myself in, but I can only go so far, and I hit this block. And then I just reach back, my hands barely touching the ground behind me. And on the last one, my hand was nice and flat. That's okay, that's normal, right? Our bodies have asymmetries. That's why we work on all this stuff, opening up, try to stay as even as possible by pushing ourselves the same through each movement. Nice, all right, up to a quad hip flexor position, okay? So knee down. My front knee is up. Okay, I'll turn it about a 45 so you can see. We squeeze this down glute. Boom. I'm going to push my hip to the front of the room. Boom. Now I'm going to reach my palm to the sky and side bend towards that front knee. You're going to feel this really nice stretch from your palm all the way down your arm, down your lat, down your oblique, into your quad, a little bit into your hip flexor. Right, so basically from the top down, relax back, take a step back, press in, make sure you're squeezing that down glute, press that palm to the ceiling, reach up and over the top. Breathe. Hold this for about three to five breaths. Good, switching sides. Okay, get into good position, squeeze that down glute, reach to the front of the room, Press that palm to the sky, bend over the top. So on this side, it's way tighter also. Feels like my shoulder, uh, my tricep a little bit is super tight right here. So about my armpit area gets really tight. So I'm making sure that I don't compromise form because it's sore. I'm just going to push into that soreness just a little, not into pain, but into soreness. So press. I'm going to push up. I'm going to find where that tight spot is. Once I hit that tight spot, I'm just going to push just past that tight spot, just a tiny bit. Okay, we don't want to push into pain. We want to push into uncomfortable territory, just a tiny bit. And relax. Learn where those end ranges are and then start working on them. Okay, our last one. Speaking of end ranges, shin box. Okay, so if you have never done a shin box before, I'm taking my left leg, it goes in front. I'm going to tuck my left foot into my right quad. My right leg is bent and my foot goes back. Okay, so I'm in like this position here. Okay, so what we're doing here, I'm going to try to sit up. If I can't sit up, put my hand down to stabilize and sit up as straight as I can. Okay. You're gonna feel some stretch in weird spots in this hip, in this side just a little bit. But the goal is to sit in this position, be kind of comfortable, and then I'm gonna to lean towards this front knee. Then I'm gonna circle my way in front as far as I can. Don't hold your breath, even if it's really tight. Try to keep your back as flat as possible. Good, now we're gonna circle back to that front knee and sit up, that's one, we have two of those. Okay, here we go, sitting down, press down into it, 
rotate, rotate back, and uh, nice, switching sides. Eventually, we'll get back to where we rotate, and if you did rotate, good for you. My hips are tight. We haven't done these in a while, okay? Go ahead and reach forward, circle in. Seeing this right hip is a lot tighter on me. Circle back and up. Good, down, circle. Circle back out and up. All right, we got little neural activation and then we're gonna get into our flow pattern. Our flow pattern is really fun today. I'm excited to do it. So our neural activation today, we're gonna come up on those toes, arms go up to the sky. On go, we're gonna drop into that base position and try to rip the floor apart, okay? That's it for today, is just dropping into base, rip the floor apart, okay? Make yourself strong. Here we go, all the way up, go. I attack the floor, I don't let the floor come to me, I come to the floor. So like somebody's pulling the rug out from under you, attack that floor so you don't tip over. Nice and strong, test yourself, make sure everything's firing, I'm digging my toes in, I'm squeezing my glutes, I'm ripping the floor apart. Good, come up nice and tall. Go. Beautiful. Squeeze. Tight core. Everything's locked in. Okay. Here we go. All the way up. Last one. Go. Nice. Nice work. All right. Relax. Okay. Our flow today. We're going to try <clears throat> something a little different. We're going to go through a little pattern of uh, world's greatest single leg stand, single leg RDL with rotation. Then we're gonna come back up to our feet. We're gonna hand walk out, do some other things, okay? So just stick with me. We're gonna have some fun with this. We're gonna try it. I haven't done this one yet. Uh, normally the ones I teach you, I have done. Today is not that day. So world's greatest first. Take your left leg, step to the front of the room. Take your right leg, shoot it back into that strider stretch. Both hands come down to the mat. Okay, from there, we tuck our elbow into the instep of our shoe. Rotate up towards the sky with that elbow tuck side. So left leg forward, left hand to the sky. Now I bring my left hand back to my foot. I come into a more of a lunge position and I come upright from here. Lean forward heavy on that front leg. Do not use your hands. And I'm gonna press mostly off of that front leg. I'm gonna bring my back leg up to prove that I'm pressing most off of that front leg. Single leg stand. Ooh, basically a single leg squat from the bottom. Now, nice straight leg, hinge at that hip. Remember you have a bar through your hip. We're hinging at the hip. Make yourself as long as possible. Single leg RDL. Rotation, right hand reaches to left foot. Okay, I'm not gonna do anything with my other hand. I'm gonna leave it on my hip just for balance. I'm gonna try to touch the outside of my left foot with my right hand. Beautiful, come up, nice and slow. Standing position, nice. All right, right leg stays in front. Step back with that left leg. Both hands come down, world's greatest stretch here. Elbow goes to the instep. Rotate that arm to the sky. Good, hand comes down. Shift into more of a lunge position. Lean heavy over that front leg. Lock in, hands aren't touching my leg. I'm gonna drive forward, come up. To a stand, bar goes through the hip. I'm gonna hinge through my hip, nice and strong, soft bend in that down leg, staying strong. <sighs> Left hand goes to the outside of my right foot. Good, come up nice and slow. Nice work, guys, okay. 
Hand walk position. Feet go together. Slide your hands down your legs. Hand walk out into good plank position. Drive those hips up. Nice and strong here, down dog. Stretch those legs out a little. Okay, now we're gonna do a dive bomber push-up. So we're gonna bend our elbows first, take our forehead down to the ground. We're gonna slide our forehead almost all on the ground into a cobra position. Good, relax those hips down, bend those elbows. Allow yourself to come all the way down to the floor. Point your toes. Hands go out over your head. Going to do a Superman here. So we're going to lift our legs, lift our arms at the same time. Ready and up. Create a reverse arch. Work in that back. Squeeze those glutes. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Nice and tight. Don't forget to breathe. Good, bring down nice and easy. Hands under the shoulders, tuck those toes. Go into a push up from the bottom, pressing up. Press up to a plank. Drive those hips up nice and high by walking those hands back a little. <sighs> down dog position. Now walk those toes forward and come up nice and Slow. Beautiful. Okay. Round one done. Nice work. Made it through. I'm <sighs> yoga's hard. This isn't even yoga. Okay. Same thing, round two, but we add a little extra to the round. Yay. We still have 10 minutes, guys. 10 more minutes of great movements. You're getting stronger. Let's go. Right leg start this time. So right leg in front. Left leg shoots back. Hands go down to the floor, nice and strong. World's greatest stretch here. <sighs> Drop that elbow to the instep of your shoe, down as far as you can without compromising position. Back leg should be locked in, strong, driving your heel back. Back should not be super rounded, should be still flat. Rotate that arm to the sky, plug those fingers in. Look where that hand is going. Beautiful, good position. Hand comes down, lock in, come into that lunge position. Lock in, no hands. Try your best to not use those hands. Lean forward, drive off of that front leg. See if you can't bring that back leg up first so that it's all on that front leg. Come up nice and slow. The slower, the better. Nice. Put that bar in your hip. Hold on to that bar as we kick back into that inverted ham. Kicking back, hinging at that hip. Nice and strong here. Good. Reach your left hand to the outside of your right foot. Good, come up nice and tall. Switch sides. Okay, nice work. Doing good. Take that right leg back. Hands down to the floor, world's greatest stretch. Find your good position before we drop that elbow in. All right, drop your elbow. Lock in, nice flat back. Push, so don't have that knee bent. Push that heel back. As much as you can, rotate up. Good, hand goes down, lock in, come into that lunge position, lean forward, press up, and stand. Okay, don't put that right leg down yet. Got our inverted hamstrings, lock in. Bar goes in your hip. Nice hinge here, pressing your hips to the back of the room as you 
Find that balance, kick that leg back. Nice flat back, nice and active. Right hand goes to the outside of left foot. Good, come back up. Nice and slow. I got sweat dripping off my face. Nice work, guys. Okay, here we go. Hand walk, down dog, dive bomber, Superman, and then the added piece. Here we go. Lock into that hand walk position. Slide those hands down as far as you can. Once your hands are on the ground, walk out into a plank position. Beautiful. Stay locked in here. Don't drop. Don't sag. Keep those hips nice and strong. Good, drive back into a down dog position. Now dive bomber for the second time, bend those elbows, drop that forehead almost to the ground, sweep through, come into that Cobra. Good, relax the hips down, come down nice and flat, extend those arms, thumbs up. Superman always flies, thumbs up. Deep breath and come up into that reverse bow. Hold Superman position. Keep holding, you're doing good. Squeeze those glutes. Keep everything nice and tight. And relax down. Now for this next part, we're gonna do a rollover. I'm actually gonna scoot away so that I don't roll off of camera. Basically what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna roll towards you. Does not matter which side we roll to because all we're doing is coming from our stomach to our back, but we don't wanna just roll ourselves over like this, like a flopping fish. We wanna do it controlled. So I'm gonna hit that Superman position just a little bit and I'm gonna help myself start to roll, but I'm gonna control it. I'm gonna try to roll over and relax down. Okay, if you have to help yourself over, that's okay. This is the first time we've done it. We're gonna add more rolls in. It's a primitive movement. Kids can do it, why can't we? Because we stopped doing it. Okay, on our back, dig your heels in, squeeze your glutes. Okay, we're gonna roll up now. So sitting up, here we go, nice and slow on my count. Up, one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, good, roll back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, good. Feet go to the sky, both legs straight up as straight as you can. Touch behind your head, reach for your toes. Five times, there's one. Nice and slow here also, two, three, four, last one. Five, good, coming to that dead bug position. Arms go up, dead bug on the bottom. So we have 90 at our hip, 90 at our knee. Don't put your legs down. Nice and strong here, opposite arm, opposite leg. Reach out, pause, bring it back. Right arm goes out, left leg goes out, and vice versa, opposite arm, opposite leg. Don't let them touch the ground. Stay nice and strong here, three on each side. And good, bring those legs down. Now this last one is a challenge. Okay, we're gonna try to roll to a standing position. Okay, this one's hard. I don't even know if I can do it. I'm gonna tuck up in a ball. I'm gonna try to roll to my feet and stand up. Okay, I'm gonna try to get myself rocking and rolling. Come to my feet. Yeah, it's not gonna happen today. Okay, but if I came up with some force, I might be able to, oh, nope. One more time, I'll try, I use those hands, come to my feet and stand up. See, I'm not a robot, I can fail at things, it's okay. I tried, it took me three times and I used my hands, no big deal. That can be my goal, short-term goal. Two weeks, I'm doing it, okay? All right guys, coaches challenge time and quote of the day. Okay, so here we go. Coaches challenge is a hollow body in and out. So I'm gonna face you so that I can pretend like I'm watching you. 
okay? Hollow body position, okay? That's that banana position. If you haven't ever done it, you basically come into a seated position. Notice my legs are off, my back is off, okay? Again, I wanna face you, so I'm not turning my head. I'm gonna read you the quote. We're gonna to try to hold in that hollow body hold while I read the quote. If you want, do a leg tuck while you're doing it in and out. So a V sit in and out, okay, if you want. Fine, I'll do it. Just because I know there's a couple of you out there that are gonna challenge me. Clarion, Ajay, Dennis, Leah, Pat, uh, you guys, Patricia, you guys know. You know who you are, okay? Here we go. Lock in. I know you guys are gonna do it too. Lock into that position. Here we go, in and out. When you can't change the direction of the wind, adjust your sails. Boy, that's just a good one for the beginning of a year. You don't know where life's gonna take you. Don't panic. Don't stress out about it. We just adjust. We make it happen. You come, you get a little fitness in, get a little mindset, and we get out of here and we relax and we go about the rest of our time. Oh, you guys are awesome. Thanks, guys. I appreciate you being here. Don't take off yet. We got your joke. As always, if you need to meet with a coach, you can meet with myself. You can always email I am. Uh, we're on Teams now, so you can hit us there. Let us know. We can do 30 minutes. We can do an hour. We can do movement, uh, movement quotient stuff now, so we can actually watch your movements on your camera and help you figure out where we might need to get you fixed. So any of that stuff interests you, reach out to myself. We will make time for you. I'd love to see you outside of class and actually see you guys. So uh, as always, thanks for being here. Appreciate you guys every day. Look forward to seeing you on Thursday. Remember to start looking for some bands if you don't have any. And we'll start that up here in a, a little over a month and then we'll get going. But as always, thanks guys, I appreciate you. Go out and get some sunshine if there's any to be found. Stay nice and warm and I'll talk to you soon. And I'll leave you with your joke. What is the best way to burn a thousand calories? Just leave the pizza in the oven. Oh, a nutrition and dad joke all in one. I love it. All right guys, have a great rest of your day. I look forward to seeing you soon. Talk to you then.